In this video, I will show you how to create a subtitle for a video for free using a website. I have uploaded a video to my YouTube channel around a year ago, and unfortunately, YouTube didn't automatically create a subtitle for this video, which is very rare. Usually, YouTube does a great job in generating subtitles automatically. So, in order to create a subtitle for this video, I got to use another website. The name of the website website is vid.io so you go to this website on the top right corner you click on get started here you could simply drag and drop a file to upload to this website or you could record the video use a dropbox but in my case i will simply use my videos link so i go back to my video i copy the video link and then i go back to this website and i paste the link in here and then I press this button then this website would ask access to your clipboard so if you copy anything from your computer such as the text it will be saved to the clipboard and this website would be able to read that text I think it's a bit of a big ask but in order to be able to create a subtitle I got to allow it so I click on allow and then it will start uploading the video onto this website. Depending how long your video is, it's gonna take some time. Once the upload is finished, click on the subtitles tab in here, then click on auto subtitle, then it would automatically detect the language. Obviously you could select any other language that you think is correct. And also you got to select the video that you want to create a subtitle from. It also automatically selects the video and then simply click on start to create the subtitle. After a few minutes, it would automatically generate the subtitle for your video. And if you play the video, you can see how accurate the subtitle is as compared to what is said in the video. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the quality of the subtitle. It creates subtitles even more accurately than what YouTube does. For example, it correctly puts the full stop and it puts comma and it capitalizes at the beginning of the sentences, which YouTube doesn't do. To export this subtitle, you need to click on the options tab. Then if you click on download subtitles in here, but as soon as you do that, it asks for your email address and your credit card details. Just because of creating subtitles for one video, I'm not going to join this website and pay a monthly fee. So what other thing you could do is to go back to the subtitles tab and meanwhile open Word document or notepad or any other text editing program, put it to the side of this website and then manually copy paste each line from this website to your Word document. It's a hideous job, but it saves you lots of money. It is obviously not recommended if your videos are very long or you're planning to use this technique very often. So after copying all the texts, if you are using Word document, you could check the grammar. The only major error that I found was in the time when I said soundbar instead of writing a soundbar it says sandbar even though in the previous lines it has correctly detected that i have said soundbar so you can easily manually change that so i copy all this text then i go back to my video on youtube and then i click on add under the subtitles and then i click on type manually and then click on edit as text then paste all the text in here and click on edit timings here you got two options one to save it as draft or to publish it once youtube finish syncing captions to the timeline since i'm pretty confident in youtube syncing it correctly i click on save and close then youtube would say generating timings then you got to just wait after 10 20 minutes come back and click on refresh then it would say it is published you could click on it and simply 
double check that all the text matches the words that you are saying on the video and I've checked and it has done a great job. Once you're happy, simply close this and we are done. And finally, I suggest you to go back to this website and find the setting for your browser where you could disable the access to your clipboard from this website. In my browser, I just click in here and then select deny access and reload.